According to the BBC, the government is threatening a grim September in which up to 6,000 jobs in the steel and oil refining sectors could be lost. There will be a total of 2,800 job losses in Port Talbot in Wales and up to 3,000 job losses at British Steel in Scunthorpe. The Grangemouth oil refinery in Scotland will lay off an additional 400 workers. Sources claim that unions' expectations that funding from a new Labour government would help prevent job losses have been mostly disappointed. The solution isn't writing a blank cheque to bail out the past, or to put taxpayers on the hook for the industrial challenges we've inherited, the administration stated, adding that it was faced with tough decisions. A £2.5 billion fund was pledged in Labour's plan to revive the UK steel sector. However, the new government is following in the footsteps of its predecessor by stating that public funds can only be used to finance the construction of new, environmentally friendly steel manufacturing facilities, not to cover significant ongoing losses at carbon-intensive operations.